Let's talk about Booleans. We're going to be looking at the if-else statement, the if-else file that we have in our flow control and looping. You can see that right here, if-else. And what we have is right here in the middle, true, true, false, false. This is just going to be a test condition that we're going to look at. Just to give you a high level about Booleans, check out the if-else videos and you'll see a lot about Booleans because when you check to see something using an if condition, you're checking to see if your condition is going to be true or false. So if we look here, just to be really simple about it, we're going to check to see if dollar sign A is greater than 100. That has a value of true or false. Is it greater than 100 or is it not? True or false. And then we have dollar sign A, is it less than 2000? True or false. So this evaluates to something, this evaluates to something, and then we have an and here. This is signaling and, meaning this and that. So then you do some logic, I had a couple of logic classes and they're a lot of fun. It can be a little bit tricky, they're like little puzzles. And basically you're saying, if this is true and true, then this whole thing evaluates to true. Okay, so just to give you a little high level, that's just how you would use an if statement. And you can also bunch it all up on one line. So it's a good example to see that we're bunching everything up on one line because we know that once we have a semicolon and when we have brackets here, this is treated as one little section and this is treated as another little section, and your if condition always has parentheses around it. So now we have this boolean, dollar sign bool. So at the top here, we specify the value. I, it was true, but I changed it to false just to prove a point here. So this is what it looks like when it's true. Let's right click and refresh it. Actually, we have to save that first. And now we'll right click it and refresh. And now it's false, just change from true to false. So we know that problem with Booleans that if you have a, a one, it's true, it will display with echo. But if you have a zero, which is false or false, with, which is zero, say it that way, then it's not going to echo anything out. So you have to use something that's going to echo it out for you. And it's much easier to do it this way, meaning that you echo what you want to echo. Normally you don't have to echo it, but it's good to do it, to do it that way. No problems, but that's really, how you work with booleans for a high level thing and normally you deal with your if statements so to get more information on if because this is really a little introduction to it jump into the section on flow control and looping